This is an example of related rates for an inflating balloon. Spherical balloon is being inflated such that its volume increases at the constant rate of 2.00 meters cubed per minute. Find the rate at which the radius is increasing when it is 3.00 meters. We'll start by summarizing the given information. The volume is increasing at a constant rate. That tells us that the rate of change of volume with respect to time, dv by dt, remember related rates we always do with respect to time, is equal to 2.00 cubic meters per minute. We're looking to find the rate at which the radius is increasing, so we're looking for dr by dt. As with all related rate questions, we're looking for it at a particular instant in time. In this case, it's when r equals 3.00 meters. So there's the given information summarized. Now we need an equation that relates the volume to the radius, and then we differentiate both sides with respect to time. For sphere, the volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. This equation relates volume to radius and there's no other variables, so we don't have to worry about making any extra substitutions. So we differentiate both sides with respect to time. dv by dt is equal to 4 pi r squared dr by dt. We're using implicit differentiation with respect to time, so the derivative of r with respect to time. The 3, of course, was cancelled when this 3 came down front here, and this became a 2 when we subtract 1. So, now we substitute in the given information that will allow us to find dr by dt, which is what we're looking for. So, 2.00 equals 4 pi r at the instant we're looking for is 3 and that leaves dr by dt so if we just come up here to finish we rearrange all the pieces so that we get dr by dt dr by dt is going to equal well we have the 2 on the left, so we keep the 2, and we're going to divide that by everything on the right. So 4 pi and 3 squared is 9, so I'll write that as 9. Point zero zero. Final answer then, the rate of change of the radius with respect to time is 2 over 36 pi, so that reduces to 1 over 18 pi, and the units would be meters per minute.